I'm Rob Singleton. I am a professor of neurology. Uh, I run a portion of the Clinical and Translational Science Award site, the Clinical Research Unit, which provides services to investigators who want to perform clinical trials. But I also am the director of the Translational Innovation Pilot Program. The Translational Innovation Pilot Program or TIP program is a one-year pilot grant program that is administered by the University of Utah CTSI, but is paid for by the Clinical and Translational Science Award uh, grant. And uh, its goal is to develop translational science projects uh, that can be used as preliminary data for future extramural grant funding. Everyone understands what translational research is. This is moving a project along from preclinical studies in animals to, say, developing a drug that can be used in humans, testing that drug uh, in phase one and phase two and phase three trials, uh, then going from efficacy to effectiveness in communities, those steps along the translational uh, spectrum all involve translational research. Translational science can be thought about as the meta of translational research. Thinking about studying the process of translational research in order to discover barriers to its efficient performance and then developing uh, methods or tools or changes that can make that translational research more efficient or uh, make it more generalizable uh, so that other people can use this same technique. Um, uh, it is finding a solution that makes translational research more efficient. A one-year uh, pilot project focused on translational science demands a lot of an investigator. Uh, you need to understand the concept of translational science and uh, make sure that your project includes a translational science aspect. Uh, in addition, like any pilot, it's important that the ideas of the pilot be concise and well-formed uh, and that the aims be feasible. That is, you can get through the aims uh, in one year and with the $30,000 budget, $30, budget of uh, these pilots. We've taken a number, number of steps to make the TIP program uh, more effective uh, for investigators. Uh, one aspect is educating investigators about translational science and during the application process, helping them to mold their project so that it has translational science relevance. In addition, we and the investigator consider what CTSI, Clinical and Translational Science Institute resources, might help their project to be stronger. Everything from data handling to statistical analysis to community engagement. Uh, any of these might be helpful for a particular study. We provide an advisor to the applicant to help guide them in translational science relevance. And that advisor stays with successful applicants through the one year uh, performance period in, in order to help consider translational science relevance uh, and be sure that the project meets the aims uh, that were uh, developed during both the application and the pre-funding stage of the TIP project. The TIP program is in its second year. That means that a first class of applicants have begun their uh, one-year uh, translational science projects. Uh, I can offer two examples of uh, interesting work that uh, reflects this translational science. I think as we talk about them, it's important to think about um, how uh, 
we identify a barrier to translational research and then uh, provide a potential solution that's generalizable uh, when uh, performing translational science. So in the first example, it can be difficult to uh, use genetic therapies because uh, common methods of delivering genetic material uh, to human cells can't uh, accept large amounts of DNA. Uh, Jun Yang, who is a professor of ophthalmology and visual sciences, has developed a CRISPR-based technology that allows uh, her system to deliver larger amounts of DNA uh, and address genetic diseases in ophthalmology uh, that otherwise could not uh, accept a genetic uh, treatment. And you can see how uh, this solution offers uh, a way forward, not only for her um, ophthalmology diseases, but also for any uh, investigator uh, studying a disease in which uh, large, gene, large genes and large, genetic, large volume genetic therapy uh, would be required. As a second example, uh, rural um, populations, that is people who live in rural areas, have difficulty uh, participating in clinical trials because they have to drive a long ways uh, to be seen in both initial and follow-up visits. When uh, um, when a study considers um, how they might follow up with patients, often many of the aspects of the study can be performed virtually, but drawing blood is not one of those aspects. And so uh, a project uh, that we're performing uh, within the CTSI seeks to develop a network of uh, rural community-based um, uh, phlebotomy sites uh, to which uh, participants could go to get their follow-up blood drawn near their home rather than having to drive uh, hundreds of miles to come to the University of Utah. This project uh, imagines uh, providing not only this um, network of research rural phlebotomy sites, but also a suite of tools that investigators could use to engage participants with virtual research.